Okay, today my wife and I went to the store to buy some chicken and we ended up buying turkey wings. Um, never grilled turkey wings or cooked them when they weren't attached to a whole turkey, but it seemed like it'd be kind of cool. So we're going to give it a shot. Um, first thing I'm going to do is just uh, separate the drumettes and uh, or the wing part. <laughs> separate all these pieces here just to make them a little bit easier to cook and also to eat. Okay, so as you can see I've got all the uh, meat, you know, the wings parted out and I ended up with a, a lot of meat, a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, next thing I'm going to do is just treat them very simply. I'm going to rub them up with some uh, extra virgin olive oil and just uh, salt and pepper. You get the idea, it's not rocket science. Salt. You can just I always use kosher salt. And freshly cracked pepper. Alright, I'm gonna finish up the rest of the wings now and we'll get to the grill. Okay, here's how I um, arrange my charcoal when I'm going to do any type of poultry. As you can see, I have a pile of charcoal here, a pile of charcoal here. And uh, basically what I did was I filled up a um, one of those Weber charcoal chimneys to the brim. I filled it up to the, to the top and I pretty much divided it in half. So I have, you know, half my charcoal here, half my charcoal here. And I, I use one of these things. I uh, got it. These are dedicated just to arranging my charcoal. Next thing I'm going to do is add a, a nice chunk of hickory wood to this side and one to this side. And my cooking is going to be going on pretty much right here. So get the wood on and uh, we'll start to cook. Okay, the uh, grill's all. As you can see, I've got a cast iron uh, grate on here. Uh, I've lubricated the grate with uh, some canola oil just to help you know, prevent the sticking. I'm going to go ahead and start laying the wings on. Like I said, you know, I'm using the indirect heat here. As you can see, the wood's smoking really nice. It's a nice smolder. So I try to keep it away from the direct heat as much as possible. My wife likes the little wingtip things too because they're crispy, so I'm going to throw those on as well. They'll probably be done before the rest of the cook here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just um, put the lid on and let the grill do the work. The, the lid will help you know, prevent the flare-ups and everything and uh, help get the smoke incorporated into the cook here. Then uh, I'm just going to finish it off. Uh, grilling it with uh, some barbecue sauce. So let's check it out in a little bit. Okay, 10 more minutes have passed and I'm going to give these things another turn. Um, and before I do, I wanted to actually point out something who to people who may be watching this video for instructional reasons. Um, when you're cooking indirect heat, make sure you have your vent um, over an area where the coals are not. The whole idea is to generate you know, like a convection inside your, uh, inside your Weber. So just a little tip. And as you can see, the color is looking awesome. I love Weber's. I would never get rid of this thing for a million dollars. Uh, I'll uh, take this thing over any of the most expensive gas grills in the world. You can do so much with these things. I, I cook everything on this, uh, on this Weber. And um, the one thing I upgraded is obviously this cast iron um, grate, uh, castirongrates.com. Check it out because this this is uh, the one thing, the one major improvement. Uh, that's the only improvement I can think of on the Weber is this this grate. It's very versatile, and and there's all these inserts you can buy for it. I have a um, beer can chicken insert that's awesome, and they have these like griddles and you can cook pizza. I mean, it's it's crazy.
All right, it's looking awesome. So I'm gonna put the lid on and let it keep, keep cooking here for a while and then I'll uh, start basting it up with the barbecue sauce. Okay, 10 more minutes have passed, so I'm gonna give it one more turn and then start the basting. You can see a really, really good color here. Smells awesome. Still smell the, a lot of hickory smoke in the air. Skin's looking really, really crisp. My wife's gonna dig it. Aren't you, wife? Oh, yeah. These little crispy tips are just for, just for Karen. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start basing this with the barbecue sauce. As you can see, you can start seeing the, the bones here and they're, how they're turning white. That's what you want to look for. If the bones aren't white on your chickens or whatever you're cooking, it's not done yet. That smells really, really good. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on and uh, check, flip it again in 10 minutes and uh, baste the other side. Then we're gonna wrap this up. It's not gonna be much longer before we're gonna be eating. All right, again, about 10 more minutes have passed. In case any of you are wondering, these are not getting dried out. Like I said, I'm using you know indirect heat and uh, also with the lid on, it's gonna not going to be that real direct intense heat that you'd get uh, like when grilling a steak or whatever without the lid on so it's more of a controlled controlled heat and um, I can tell you these are very moist I mean they're bubbling juice everywhere it's another thing you want to do when you're you know cooking some type of fowl is uh, make sure that your juices are flowing clear you got you know red juice coming out keep it on the grill because it's not done yet these are looking awesome. This this right here is what I'm talking about. This you can see it. The, the how the bone is nice and white. You want to make sure you uh, see white bones when you're cooking. You know, some type of poultry. It's a sure sign that your meat's not going to be raw. We are ready to, ready to wrap this video up in a few minutes here. All right, 10 more minutes have passed and they are done. <clears throat> Got mixed feelings here because I don't expect a whole lot of people to be doing YouTube searches on how to cook turkey wings. <laughs> but I, I can tell you, I mean, my wife and I were talking and this is going to be, I think, uh, not the last time we do this because these things just look awesome they smell good I mean it was a good value and um, this is how I would cook a chicken too if I had two halves you know of chicken I would use the same technique so this is just uh, I'm really happy with this anyway I'll uh, get these things off the grill and show you the finished product here all right, here's the uh, finished product. Um, like I said, this chicken or <laughs> turkey smells really, really good and uh, still very, very moist, as you can see. 